Yes, my Between the Liners, welcome back to the final episode, the final review of the BTL Pods FPL League for the 23-24 season. 38 game weeks later, we have finally come to a winner. Before we get into the winner, and before we get into the manager of the months, we're going to talk about the howlers of the seasons as well. I want to give a massive congratulations and a big thank you to all you guys at home that have joined the BTL Pods FPL League. There's 50 of you in total, which is a huge amount in the first season of our league. We actually started off in 17 teams in game week one and gradually grew and grew and got bigger and bigger until we hit 50 managers in the league. The last person to join was actually Ritik Ramesh, whose team is called Gondu FC. He finished 50th, but he did only join FPL in game week 16, I believe. So he started off on zero in game week 16 after people had got a lot of points. And to be fair to him, he's finished last. He's given it a commendable attempt because he's only 126 points behind 49th place. So well done to you. Well done to people like Ijaz, whose team is called Gimme the Mane, and Lewis, whose team is called Lewis McBewis FC, formerly known as Jurgen Flop, I believe. Jurgen Flip Flop, I believe. Shout out to t them two guys because they're the youngest in the leagues and they've come very respectable places. I believe uh, Ijaz, my little cousin, shout out him. He's come 20th in the league and Lewis McBewis has come 34th in the league despite being at the bottom of the league for a long time. Very respectable efforts from you guys. The rest of you guys in the league, these two are showing you an example of what to do and how to know about football and ball knowledge because... Some of us, um, a lot of us are double their ages. So big shout out to you two guys as well. Before I get into the rest of the video, I've got a little short clip, which is AI generated, just to give you guys a summary of the 23-24 season. So enjoy that. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you the comment. The curtain falls on another thrilling season of Fantasy Premier League, folks. And what a ride it's been. I'm your Premier League pundit, and I'm here to dish out the annual awards where the winners are crowned and the losers. Well, let's just say they're the stars of our next therapy session. First off, let's give a round of applause to the mid-season leader, Lacathret, the mastermind behind the December push. You were the Tottenham Hotspur of the season. So close, yet so far. Sorry, mate, but someone had to say it. Fast forward to the end, and it's Hunters, led by the incomparable MD Foyjur. Raman, standing tall at the top of the mountain. The Hunter himself has conquered the league, proving that patience, skill, and a dash of fantasy football magic can take you all the way. Hunters, you're the Lionel Messi of our little league, a genius who makes the impossible look effortless. Take a bow, MD, you've earned it. Now, let's talk about some records. Between the Liners, you absolute animals, scored a staggering 152 points in game week 34. That's like scoring a hat-trick in every game while sipping champagne and riding a unicorn. Unbelievable. Jeff, on the flip side, the underachievers, you transfer happy bunch, made a whopping 202 changes throughout the season. That's like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube while juggling chainsaws. Impressive, yet utterly confusing. You must have a PhD in panic button management. As we close the curtains on this season, Let's raise a glass to Hunters, the deserving champions, and to all the managers who made this fantasy ride an absolute blast. Until next season, keep those transfers rolling, those team names creative, and those fantasy points flowing. Yes, people, hope you like that little clip. Hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you comment as well. And make sure you get in the comments and let us know what was the worst team name out of the league and what was the best team name out of the league as well. Just a little separate question for you guys. Let's take it on to the rest of the video and the rest of the episode. Out of the 50 managers that have joined in the league this season, I think from 38th place onwards, those guys gave up. You know, every season you get guys that give up like four weeks into the season. But I think most of you guys, those from 38th onwards in the league probably gave up around halfway point or December point in the season. A couple of you didn't though. So we're going to have to pick out a new guys. 
Saif Rahman, the underachievers with 222 transfers in the season. You're an absolute madman. Saif, you've been trying to change your team throughout the whole season and you still couldn't get out of the bottom 10 and get into the top 40. You finished 40th in the league. Saif, I don't want to be too harsh on you, my guy. You tried all season long to try and get out of there. You had big fighting words earlier on in the season, but you couldn't get out of there, unfortunately. Saif, you better come back even harder next season. we got to take it to place 41, who's also been changing his team every week, who also bet me £100 a few months ago, saying that he's going to finish above me in the league in FPL. It's Ryan, bad to the bone, regular BTO pod member, and he's on the channel regularly. Acts like he knows so much about, about football. Said Sancho was going to be the next up-and-coming big thing. Look at him now. Ryan has finished 41st in the league with 1,939 points. Ryan, you owe a lot of people money this season. You've been losing a lot of bets, I bet. <laughs> we never want to hear you talk about ball again in a WhatsApp group, please, Ryan, yeah? Know your place. 42nd in the league. Shahan has also been changing his team quite regularly until the last six weeks or so. Obviously, we've got more to discuss about Shahan in a bit and a certain battle. But yeah, like I said, shout out to Gondu FC at the bottom, who's almost caught up with 49th place Mahir. So fair play is a commendable effort from him. Separately, let's talk about something else. The man of the first three weeks in FPL in our BTL Pods League, Andre, who used his bonus boost, his free hit, and his triple captain all in the first three weeks of the season. You absolute madman. Interesting tactic to go off. In the end, he's finished 15th place, a respectable 15th out of 50th, I guess. Only 300 points away from the top. Maybe that's a kind of template that certain people might want to use next season to use their bonus features in the first three weeks. I personally wouldn't advise it, but Dre finished above me, so clearly something worked. One one potential howl of this season for quite a lot of us in the league, I can't be bothered to go through all of it, and I'm sorry I missed out on loads of FPL game week reviews over the course of the season, but Legends League took priority, I'm sure. A lot of you noticed it gets a lot more engagements than the FPL videos we're getting. So I gave priority to that. So anyway, one more thing to go through is obviously when Haaland got injured at one point and a lot of you didn't have vice captains sorted out or you had it on random players. I'm sure that's a lesson to be learned for all of us. I didn't have, I had Son that week, so I got points. But a lot of you would had players that wouldn't, you wouldn't have your, your vice captain and he ended up getting substituted in and you lost out on a lot of points. Uh, okay, now we have to take it to what we, to honestly, the best, I know we've got a win in the FPO League, and I don't want to disrespect that title race, because it was an unbelievable title race, but the main thing in the BTL Pods FPO League this season has to be the battle, the war, the rise, the kingdom, the battle of Shahan v Shahan. What an incredible battle it was this season. And I know you guys, if you did watch the earlier season episodes of in the season and you saw the miracles that we were witnessing, and honestly, it was actually a privilege to be a part of. And if you haven't seen it, go check them out. You remember the fighting words that Shahan had? I went down to the South Coast. I went to visit my mate Shahan. And I said, Shahan, what have you got for Shahan? Because they're both talking a lot of crud. They're both two titans of the wow. FPO League. They were both very close to each other, about five places differentiated, round about the 40th place in the league, by the way. <laughs> they got their own little relegation battle going on. But Shahan said, Shahan, you're done. You're finished. I'm coming up to take over. There can only be one Shahan in this league. On the other, on the flip side, Shahan was saying, get that guy out of this league. We don't want no fake Shahan in there. The real Shahan and Shahan, the battle was unbelievable. And in the end, that was game week nine when Shahan was saying the fighting words when I went to see him live down in the South Coast. But then a couple weeks later, we saw absolute miracles. I believe it was game week 12. No, game week eight, nine, game week 10, sorry. Game week 10, where they got the same seasonal total points in the season, and we had them join in the league 36th and 37th place in the league. Unbelievable scenes. Forget that. One week later, 
they got the same game week points in the league. I believe it was 31 points and they were in the same place in the league again. Forget that. We then took it to 20 million to one odds in game week 12 where they both got the same points again three weeks in a row. The same seasonal points three weeks in a row. The same game week points two weeks in a row. Honestly, 20 million to one. Miracle odds between the battle of Shahan v Shahan. What an incredible battle. I want to say a big shout out to the winner of that battle though. My guy Shahan from Enns, who's ended up flying past Shahan. Shahan has in 29th place in the league. 2,136 points. Shahan has ended 42nd in the league, practically relegation zone. Bottom 10, that's got to be relegation zone, surely. Shahan, 42nd in the league with 1,934 points. Overall, Shahan has won the clash by 202 points. So big shout out to Shahan. Shahan, you might have to be banished from the league next season as part of the forfeit of losing Shahan v Shahan. Well done to both of you guys. Though. Honestly, that was my favourite thing about this year's FPL BTL Pods League. Howlers of the week and howlers of the league. You're going to have to go back through those previous videos because I can't be bothered to go through them. We'll take it to the manager of the month's awards now. As you can see to my left, you will see the top three from each month. But I'm going to go through the winners. I also, I've still got you guys prizes for manager of the months. Shout out to Moment Grill. Apologies for that in the background. Shout out to Mohamed Gru who got the August. I've got Naim 11. I've got Derby Days, manager of the month prize. I've got Harry Kane Griezmann. Like I said, I've got the prizes. They're little FPL coasters. So I don't know when you're going to get that. Am I going to be posting that out? Probably not. If you want it though, let me know. I'll post it out to you. Or I'll get someone to send it through to you somehow. But yeah, manager of the months, August, Mo McGrew on 198 points. September, Naim, 11, 295 points. October, Harry Kane, Griezmann, 222 points. November, Derby Day, 177 points. December, Lack of Fret, 400, a massive 430 points, which ended up being the most points of any month in the league. November, uh, January, Shahan with Hunt, Shahan. Manager of the month for January, you know, you, my guy, you know, everyone says you don't have a clue about football. Well, I'll tell you what, you won the battle, Shahan v Shahan. You won January man of the man, manager of the month. Might have to give Shahan a little bit more credit. Shahan with 171 points in January. Foyjur in February with 325 points. And we have got still to come to Foyjur shortly. March, we had lack of threat, 235 points. He got manager of the month. Two times in the season, which is a very impressive feat in itself. April, which is a huge 420 points from Gondu FC. Remember, he only joined the game week 16 with zero points and ended up, ended up getting the most points in April with 420 points. So big respect to Gondu FC. And in May, the title month, obviously, Shambles FC got 307 points, but he didn't win anything throughout the league. Before we get onto the title race, I just want to take on to the BTL Pods regulars and especially from the guys that come on that are in the BTL Pods WhatsApp group. Let's take a look at our, our own mini, mini little league. Ryan came last. Dom came sixth out of the seven of us in the league. Shahan came fifth. Saib came fourth. Haroon came third. I came second. And our guy, BTL Pods, best controvert, most best commentator and pundit, Joint with Sean, of course. Our guy Tunje came first out of all of us. So whenever you see a podcast with us lot on the podcast, make sure you rem remember this list and this ranking to see who really knows football on this channel. And I probably should be first, just putting it out there. <laughs> we also had a BTO Pods Cup run that I barely even took notice of. But shout out to Rice Rice Baby, Alam Khan, who got... He won the final 66 points to Prino on 65 points. Curry Muncha 11. Shout out to you guys. Unfortunately, there's no prize for that because I swear that was only like four game weeks long. But well done to you. You won the Carabao Cup of the BTL Pods FPL League. Before we get onto the title race again, we'll take a look at the most valued squads. We start off with the least valued squads first. 
Ryan bad to the Bowen third lowest value squad in the league. Ninety nine point one million only. You got given a hundred million, Ryan. How did you take a loss, my guy? Go on, Nacho seven. Nile ninety nine point one million. Second lowest in the league. Also a loss. Third. Mahir, I don't think he's played for months, to be honest. I think he gave up that the second he put Sterling as captain back in November or something. No wonder he gave up. He's got the least valued squad in the league with 97.5 million. Final Fantasy, his team is called. The most valued squads in league. Surprisingly, not the winner of the league. Maybe something you want to pick up on. The third highest... Uh, the third highest valued squad in the league was actually Lewis McBewis, formerly known as Jurgen Flipflop, with £106.1 million. Pounds. Very respectable from you, Lewis. Unbelievable achievement. As I said in the beginning, he's younger than all of us in the league and he's had a phenomenal achievement and a phenomenal attempt at FPL League this season. The second highest value squad in the league, my little cousin Naib, who we'll get to shortly. I Spice Rice, £106.4 million. Second in the league, Lack of Threat, with £106.6 million, the most valued squad in our league this season. So well done to Lack of Threat, but unfortunately, no prizes for the most valued squads in the league. Taking it to the title race, and if you guys have been paying attention the last few weeks, you'll know it's been absolutely sensational title race, almost as close as the Premier League title race itself. Third place in the league. I Spice Rice. Naib, my little cousin who I was rooting for from the beginning, who I wanted him to win the prize, so I could just go down the road and give him the prize. Now he didn't win it, I can't give him nothing. <laughs> Sorry, my little cousin. Third place, I Spice Rice. After being top of the league for 20 game weeks running, he has ended up third. How you finished third in a two-horse title race, my guy? No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> But yeah, I can't believe it. He was t first for 20 game weeks running and somehow he still hasn't won the league. He's ended up 19 points behind top. Second in the league is Anas, who was fighting out. He was first, that first, second and third places were switching the last few weeks like crazy. It's been an unbelievable title race. Second in the league, Anas, lack of threat, who's finished 12 points behind top despite winning manager of the month two times this season. And top of the league... Team Hunters, the BTL Pods FPL League champions, the manager of the season. Team Hunters, MD, I'm guessing that means Muhammad. Muhammad Foyjul Rahman, I don't even know who you are, my guy. Get in the Insta DMs to claim your prize. I hope you're a size large. Your prize is at England Euro 2024 top, Euro 2024 top. That's your prize. Hopefully you're large, a size large, as I said. An unbelievable champion for the BTL Pods FPL League inaugural season. Well done to you, Foyjul Rahman. I believe he only came into the league in roughly game week 20 or game week 18. And he's absolutely taken the league by storm. And it wasn't easy for Foyjul because he wasn't near the top for a lot of the season. You were around 5th or 6th and even at one point near me around 15th. So the climb has been unbelievable. Interested to see where you rank in the game weeks in the FPO leagues overall. I'll get the stats up for you here now, just so you can see Foyjul's ranking. Foyjul, well done to you. To everyone else, everyone else at home, make sure you like the video. Make sure you go check out the social media platforms as well. Make sure you get in the comments. Who do you think had the best team name in the league? Who had the worst team name in the league? Make sure you give a congratulations to Foyjul. See you all again next season. Keep an, eye out, keep an eye out on the Instagram in August before the new season starts. And yeah, look, hopefully more new content and FPL content in the season to come in the next season. Hopefully Man United win the league next season as well. Hopefully I win the BTL Pods League next season as well. Thank you, thank you guys for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out. Between, Between the lines. Lines.